Hey, it's Matt from Trisman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through Google Ads auto applied recommendations. I'm going to go over what it is, my thoughts on it, and if you should run it inside your account. And essentially, what it does as well. So, to start off, what is auto apply inside Google Ads? What is auto applied uh, recommendations? And essentially, what auto applying does inside Google Ads is it gives Google the control to change things inside your account. Now, this is a lot of stuff, and generally, I don't love using auto applied recommendations because Google's going to change essentially whatever it wants and I don't really like that. The one thing it won't change as you can see here is the budget uh, but everything else your target CPA your bidding strategy all of that is fair game inside your Google Ads account and we've had a few accounts that are doing absolutely phenomenal and then we go why is certain things changing inside Google Ads and it's because we left auto apply on and we go oh my god we got to turn that off and we go turn it off and everything's fine but it's really irritating if you go into your account and things are changed there's new keywords added there's new negatives added it's just really weird and it gives you the feeling that you just don't know what you're doing because everything inside your account is changing it and you're not changing it so it's one thing you should be really careful about whether turning on auto applied recommendations or leaving them off it's something to really consider and go over now how do we go about changing auto applied recommendations and what we have to do is come over here to the recommendations tab under overview and then as we can see here, this is our demo account, so it doesn't have any recommendations yet. But if you have like certain keywords Google wants to add in or up your budget, it'll say this here. Now, what we have to do is hit auto apply in the top right corner here. It's the little clock with the uh, with the arrow icon. So we're going to hit that and we're going to come down and see all of the auto applied recommendations and now there's a lot of them you can do ads and extensions keyword targeting bidding there is just a ton of stuff you can set to auto apply uh, most of the stuff I would leave turned off I personally really don't like it when Google automatically goes in and changes stuff now this is different for everyone and every campaign is a unique situation so certain things should be auto applied it should give more control over to Google but for most of our campaigns I would like Google to recommend stuff to us and then we can go in and change it if we want to uh, and normally we just leave all of this off however if there were certain things in this you wanted to turn on it's very easy to turn on you can click one individually or you can just hit select all and then hit save and now we've turned on all of our auto applied settings if we want to turn all of them off we just hit clear all and hit save it's very simple very easy to understand and another nice thing about auto apply is if you do have it turn on and you're going like why is my campaign weird why is it not performing well they actually have a history section so if you scroll up to the top we can hit history and as we can see in the one column total applied seven day auto apply and then last auto apply meaning Google is going to tell you what it actually changed and you can actually see the account history which is really nice in case something went wrong or you're curious as to why your account is improving uh, I normally leave this off like I said I don't really love Google changing everything I'm fine with Google giving me recommendations of what it thinks it should change but I'm not really okay with Google going ahead and changing things on my behalf that being said I'm sure there are campaigns like e-commerce or really large service-based campaigns where you really just want to let Google have the most control possible and optimize as it see fits for most of the service-based campaigns we manage this is just not really that practical and we're gonna burn a lot of money giving too much control over to Google Ads and just trying out too many things for most service campaigns I would recommend unselecting all of these uh, normally they are selected so it is important to go in and turn these off uh, right at the beginning so that's something to note so that's auto applied recommendations in a nutshell if you have any comments questions or concerns about them leave them down in the comments section down below I'd be happy to answer them other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.